Hello beautiful guys and girls, we are here with another video In this one we'll speak about uh, how to cleanse your body, okay? How to go to the next level of your life, how to better your life the, You know, the techniques, what you need to do, how you need to perform during your day So you can uh, cleanse all, all that fearful energy, all those uh, emotional blocks All that trapped energy inside your body that uh, doesn't belong there, all that negative energy, okay? So the number one key, the greatest hack of the matrix, okay, the greatest, greatest, the greatest is to be grateful. <laughs> be grateful, gratitude. Uh, in order to be grateful though, you have to have awareness, you have to become aware of the lesson that you are experiencing in uh, your current reality, in that screenshot, in that moment, you have to become aware, what's the lesson? Not, don't say yourself, why is this happening to me? Say, what is the lesson? Why? What is the lesson? So I can be grateful. See the bigger picture and start expressing your gratitude for everything that happens to you. Say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There are so many things in your life. You have your leg, you have your this, you have that, you can move around, you can do stuff, you can create, you can do this, that. Uh, be careful. Change your focus. Wherever you pay your attention, there goes your energy. So, focus your attention on the things you are grateful, uh, grateful for. Be grateful for the people that hurt you. They show you, they show you what you need to fix inside you. Even your greatest lovers, they are blessings in disguise, guys, be grateful. It's not them that trigger those uncomfortable emotions in you. It's your unconscious brain that creates them. It's you that you create them, but it's happening unconsciously. It's an automatic behavior of your body. Because it's years of programming. And the body is the unconscious and uh, it does it by itself. It doesn't ask the conscious brain. It, you know, the body is like, I'm better in this because I've done it again and again and again and again and again and again. And now I don't need your permission, conscious mind. So, be grateful. Okay, you have to understand that um, uh, uh, that is the greatest way to reprogram your mind from fear to love. Grateful, gratitude. Okay, from victim to observer, but uh, that takes time. That energy tra transformation takes time. Up until this moment, like 95% of your of your brain is uh, programmed in fear. Okay, it takes time because you are working against the current of years of programming, and uh, you have to have patience, have the will, be strong, courageous to face your fears, to feel uncomfortable. It's necessary to be in the unknown. It's necessary. Don't don't. Don't uh, step back, you know. Ch change, uh, change the story in your mind because we don't see things as they are. We see things as we are. And now that you are changing, you'll, you're going to have a different perspective and perception in those memories back in the past. You can always change them. The moment you do that, because your past, present and future are happening at the same time, your past is not something that happened to you, it's in your memories now. Uh, the moment you do that, you give a birth to the moment you change the causation that deep in your being back then in the days to something that you are grateful for. You give birth, you change your now, and you give birth to a future self that uh, it's it's high, it's equal to the depth of that experience. So you are changing your whole destiny, but just by doing that, just by being grateful, by seeing the key is awareness. Okay. And we have to recognize that uh, a system can only be changed in, uh, you know, in uh, th those uh, chaotic moments where you feel uncomfortable, where you are in the unknown. Uh, it's necessary, guys. You can't uh, escape that. It's uh, it's necessary. It's necessary to to feel that, to, to experience that. Okay, but you and I don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, guys. The number two is to um, learn to how to observe your thoughts how to disidentify with the ego, okay? Because uh, the mental and emotional body is creating a lot of chaos in our lives. It's it's actually working against us. Okay, so this ego mind, which has the matrix inside, the system of limited beliefs, 
and uh, that are based on fear. It takes us from the now moment, it puts us into the linear time where past, present and future are separate and uh, what it does, it, 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 it keeps us in fear, we project conditions based on separation of cause and effect from the past to the future or from the past to the past if this happened then that and we are put it in that prison of our mind in that illusion of choices in that infinite illusion of choices which uh, whatever we choose is nothing more than uh, an illusion because we create an information that is based on our um, uh, in a limited information and we create infinite uh, creations in a box there so we have to become really aware of that ego Okay, so we have to stop blaming, judging others, judging ourselves, blaming ourselves. Uh, we have to become more conscious of um, what our, our, our unconscious mind is doing. We have to detach. Who is that that is observing the thought? This is you. This is your consciousness. This is your energy. Okay, this is you. Connect more with this part of yourself. All you have to do is to take your attention from the world out there from people, from uh, your job, from whatever. Get all your attention out of your body, all your energy. Wherever you pay attention, you give energy to it. So take it all back. Take all your attention from your thoughts and emotion. Become the observer. And take all attention off time. You don't worry what happened yesterday, the story they told you, what will happen tomorrow. Take all the attention from everything around you. And now, when you are there, you can do that through meditation. You are pure consciousness, okay? You are energy. And from this position, now you have the key to ascend in your life, to change your life forever, because that is the key, that is the door. Okay? So, we have to transcend our ego. We have to transcend the duality in the reality we experience. It's super important. It, it has to be a malware for you. Wherever you are in a toxic situation, you have to transcend the duality. You have to transcend your identity, you have to transcend that people, that person's identity because you have to stop equating his identity with the reality of who he is because he's not his identity, but he's in the matrix, he's suffering inside, he can he can deal with all those emotions and uh, because he is all those emotions now, he is the unconscious program, he's expressing them. Okay, not to... it is who he is, it is who she is, there's nothing else there. It's the unconscious program. Forgive them. They don't know what they do, said Jesus. And uh, become the observer. This begins from within you first. And then, as I said before, forgive them. Forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Forgive yourself for um, every time you end up conscious. You know how painful it is. Uh, you, you know how the other people are suffering that are in that position. They are like little children that they are lost in life and they need guidance. But um, they see you as an enemy. <laughs> the next thing you have to do is to accept your experience, to embrace them and to let go of, of uh, your old ones. Okay, You have to do it to deal with uh, the fear of abandonment and the fear of the unknown. Those two fears work hand to hand to stop you from experiencing your greatest life and uh, from moving from one experience to the next, like the water, which, which is what is happening when you're in the fifth dimension. So you have to deal with those unconscious programs. I've made one video up there for the fear of abandonment, fear of the unknown. Maybe I haven't made one yet. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make uh, soon. Um, and uh, yeah, you can check, uh, get all the information there so you can uh, stop struggling in your experience because the more you are afraid to go to the next level or the more you are afraid to let go of uh, what is happening at this moment in your life, maybe a lover, maybe a friend, or maybe a job that you hate, that you suffer in there. Okay, the moment you are afraid, you struggle in there. You are not supposed to be there, guys. This fear is holding you back. Own it. Own it. I'm going to give you the information here for the fear of abandonment. Fear of abandonment equals death in the minds of the people. It's so strong like that. That's how much afraid we are, unconsciously. 
from that, from, to that fear. <sighs> Lemon water, the best, the best. The next thing you have to do is inner child work. Okay, shadow work, empower your inner child. The inner child is wounded, guys. They traumatized our inner child with fear. Fear of abandonment, fear of um, the opinion of others, fear of illness, fear of the unknown, fear of death, fear of heights, uh, uh, fear of rejection, victim mentality, sexual repression, money is evil, you're gonna go to hell. Blah, blah, blah. They, 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 we have a wounded inner child. Okay. The inner child uh, uh, work, uh, I made a video. You should check it out, it's super important to change your reality forever, to raise that frequency because everything is frequency. The next thing you have to do is to learn how to change the energies, redirect the energies to to find joy, to do things that fuel your reality, like uh, when you are getting tilted, you can uh, eventually... The first step is to, to create something, to do a good workout, to redirect that negative energy to fuel your something that... Uh, uh, will support you. The, the next step though is to vis vision your future and live there to create to create to you know to that moment that you, you are going unconscious and um, your energy is dropping to remember your future and recall that future emotion that is pure gratitude, bliss, ecstasy, abundance, you know, feeling uh, free freedom. Oh, oh. So you can um, recondition your body to your future. Okay, you can do all of this. So, uh, you, you, in the next step, you have to appreciate your body, treat it like temple, try to understand it. It has a lot of uh, biology in here that you need to understand. The more you know that, the more ATP you can produce to your body, the more ATP you can produce, the more energy you will have in your reality, and the more energy you will have in your reality, the greater your life will be. Okay, money is irre irrelevant. It's something we give our energy to, something we give our value to. Okay, it's just a paper. The energy is coming from us. And for some reason, just the, like the rest of our lives, we agreed to have this as a, uh, to give our value this. We agreed without our permission, we just signed, just like with all the limit beliefs, just like uh, with, all, with everything that is in the matrix, we signed. We never, we, we never, they never asked us. We just signed them <laughs> to value the money. Okay, so eat to live, eat high quality foods. Uh, uh, it's super important. Be super conscious of what you are feeling, all your senses, and um, whatever you are watching programs you. Okay. Don't. If uh, you open your uh, YouTube, don't press everything that comes to to your first page. Be conscious. If you open your TikTok, don't press. Don't check everything that is coming. Be conscious. Be conscious. Because whatever you are watching, it is programming your mind. Whatever you are listening, it is listening through you. 432 Hz, 432 Hz, 5 to 8 Hz is really powerful to, to ascend, to increase your creativity, uh, sound bath in nature, birds, uh, the air, uh, the, this beautiful noise, bah, 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 you know, drink, drunk, drink, drunk. It's it's the greatest way to raise your frequency, to change your reality forever. Keep your power. Okay, this is the key. Keep your power. Learn to take your energy back. Don't be, be super conscious of what you give it. Okay, and uh, share everything unconditionally, everything that you learn, share it to other people. You know, don't, don't, uh, um, lower the other people, educate them, because the other people is you, in another time and space, eventually, in deeper level. So, we are all in this together, and if we lower the other person next to us, because he doesn't understand, okay, he, he's acting unconscious, we are lowering, lowering ourselves, because we are all in this together. If we are high, and um, for example, if I'm high and uh, you try to lower me down, you are doing worse to you. Because we are all, all in this together. So say, ground in nature, um, observe the children, observe other people. Okay, 
learn to stop trying when something doesn't feel good, where, when uh, the uncomfortable emotions are, are coming up, try to acknowledge them, they are messengers, L- let go of any control, surrender in the present moment, get in the present moment, and allow, allow, follow your heart impulses, and allow, trust your life, trust your life, but in order to trust your life, you need an open third eye, an activated pineal gland, and uh, uh, become a better observer, find correlations with what's happening up there and your system, because it's all connected, it's all connected. So if, if uh, the sun is emitting more light, more light codes, poof, your body is changing according to that. If the plants are moving, your body is changing according to that. Um, learn about your circadian rhythm, uh, about melatonin, um, you know, learn that stuff because everything is important, guys, to reach your highest version. You have to to fill your mind with knowledge that, uh, first of all, is truth, that is uh, in that is leading you into your highest version and uh, yeah that's that's how you, you you change your reality to a much better uh, world okay that's that's necessary so this is the video for today guys if you like the message share the message uh you know support the channel subscribe to the channel and until next time peace and glory